hypertensive retinopathy. In hypertensive retinopathy, in the earlier stages, there are AV nipping, changes in the direction of the arterioles, then hemorrhages and aneurysms, and in the grade 4, there is optic disc edema. So what happens in hypertensive retinopathy that there, because of the arteriosclerosis, there is arterial wall injury, vasospasm, and a decrease in the arterial lumen, increased tortuosity, and decreased blood supply. So see, this is the normal one. The lumen is normal. Because of the arteriosclerosis and hypertension, the lumen gets narrowed. And then there's a directional change of the arterial. So what's the increased arteriolar light reflex? In hypertensive retinopathy, there is copper wire and silver wire in the later stages. The AV crossing defect in the earlier stages and then hemorrhages and cotton wool exudates. In grade 3, we have flame-shaped hemorrhages and cotton wool exudates. And grade 4 is the optic disc edema. So this is AV nicking. The arterial wall direction is changed venous blood column is compressed and this is here is the copper wire and silver wire so what's a cotton wool exudate this is the normal nerve and this is a solen exon with intracytoplasmic bodies it's a focal infarct of the nerve fiber layer that's known as cotton wool spots what happens in hypertension what does it cause hypertension causes sclerosis of the retinal arterioles splinter hemorrhages focal infarcts of the nerve fibers cotton wool spots and leakage of the lipids and fluid the hard exudates why there is sudden visual loss in hypertensive crisis sudden visual loss in hypertensive crisis is due to vasospasm of the retinal arteriole and retinal ischemia and due to ischemic optic disc swelling so the blood pressure should not be reduced precipitously because it may cause optic disc infarction from hypoperfusion